So we got this refrigerator about six to seven months ago. And to be perfectly honest, we just kind of threw all of our stuff in there with no real organization. So now we got some problems. Problem number one, which is the main issue, is that we don't have a specific categorical place for things. There's no home for the items. So everything is just couch surfing in there at this point. I have this ranch dressing here. It's like protruding, free roaming avocados. Got some leftovers here, deli meat up there, some arugula. Our milks are here. And this is kind of annoying. So this is a fine place to put the milk if it were not for the fact that we have to get to the things in the back here. These are things that we regularly use. And in this drawer, fruits. They're still in their plastic bins, which is not terrible, but then, you know, it's kind of awkward to organize because nothing really fits well. We have these great meal prep containers. I love these. These are rubber made. We got them from Costco for a really good deal. Sorry, oh, my refrigerator's yelling at me. One of my goals this year is to really reduce the amount of waste. Organizing our fridge, really having some specific categories are going to help us to do that. All right, stop yelling at me. Then we have cheese in here. I have some random fajitas back there, some more greens, which I don't really like to put in this drawer because it starts to wilt. Now, this is something that I really do love about this refrigerator is that you can open this door without having to open the entire fridge. I really wanna repurpose this area and use it for like the kids' milk. Wine is something that we don't drink every day, so we have to move that somewhere else. And then we have our creamers up here, our syrup, some random like caramel sauce there. Then we have the freezer. The freezer is quite stuffed. Okay, here we go. This freezer has a top drawer and a bottom drawer, and the bottom is clearly divided. We have two sides to work with. The top is also divided, but it's interesting because we have this smaller section over here that we just need to make sure we categorize it so that we know, like for instance, our green beans and our broccoli, these are side vegetables. And I have, you know, my sofrito, recayito, little freezing cooler pack things. Everything is just kind of on top of each other. So we need to fix that problem. Then on the bottom, we have some meat here, pre-made food. We have, I don't know, fruit down there. It's just kind of all over the place. I've got some organizational items that could be useful. I'm not quite sure. We have here some clear bins. I have a lazy Susan, and then I have some of these white bins that I, I just kind of took all of these things <laughs> from different places in the house. I did get one thing off of Amazon. I originally didn't want to spend any money, but I thought this would be a good investment, and that is an egg organizer. It's one of those things where you grab an egg and the next one tumbles forward. I like the way that it's layered organization, and for the size of eggs that we get from Costco, I think everything is gonna fit well in there. Now for my least favorite part of this entire process, and that is cleaning out the fridge. We are not going to do both the bottom and the top yet. We're just going to focus on the main refrigerator part and then we'll do the freezer later. Ooh, this is nasty. Oh my gosh. Right now I am in the middle of cleaning off all of the bottoms of the bottles because as you may have experienced, a lot of these bottles after you use them, it kind of like drips to the bottom and then it gets really, really gross. So while I've been doing that, I've also been decluttering all the things that are expired, including this mayonnaise, which my husband put on my sandwich the other day. It has gone bad on August 23rd, 2022. I'm organizing. I'm in a house and I'm organizing. I'm organizing. Oh, and here's the part where I was transitioning to the freezer, but my microphone wasn't on. Okay, you guys, we are moving right along. This is the top drawer of the freezer. And what I did was I added a couple of bins in here. So I have this kind of medium sized one. I have this open one. I think it used to be like used for cans or something once upon a time. And then I have this little bitty one here that's just holding all of the smaller things. When I was doing this is very much like a jigsaw puzzle. And that's kind of how organization is. You just have to figure out what the order is because there's order everywhere and you just have to kind of figure out how the pieces fit together so that you can have the best order possible. This refrigerator took forever for me to clean and reorganize, but it was well worth the time. Let me show you what it looks like now. I want to 
to give you a super quick tour of the refrigerator so I can show you all of the categories. So on the top here, I have all of our sweet stuff. The jelly is in the front because we use that every day for lunch. This is kind of a miscellaneous area meant to put like smaller stuff in. And then we have our sauces. On the top here, we have our cheeses. And then I have a Lazy Susan here that has our salsa, our ricotta, our salad dressing. I have our eggs here with this wonderful egg organizer. And then the butter right next to it. Why? because these are breakfast items. Then we have some prepared foods over here that we will use for lunch. We have a leftover container, all of our seltzer, which we consume a lot of. So that's why it's taking up so much room, you guys. And then on this right door, we have a lot of drinks as well. We have our milk, our half and half, our large milk, our juice. And you'll notice that most of this stuff is dairy and all of the drinks are located on this right door and the right side of the refrigerator. This is probably the biggest change. These two drawers are now dedicated just to vegetables and I have them on high humidity. And this drawer is like my pride and joy, okay? So we have our fruits here. I used a drawer organizer for these fruits. And then I have these apples organized here. You guys, this is an acrylic shelf. I found this in the basement and I decided, you know what, let me just try this in here to see if it works. And it works beautifully. We have all of our apples organized here and that way it keeps them from roaming all around this drawer. On the right hand side here, we just have deli meat and cheese, really simple. And then in the freezer, I showed you this part before and I'm so, so happy that we decided to organize our top shelf this way. And then the bottom shelf, is really really simple we just have this bin here that I found again around the house and I put all of our like prepared foods in there and then on this side really simple I just have all of our meats if you've made it this far in the video please consider subscribing and if you found it helpful and or remotely entertaining go ahead and give it a like and I'll see you in the next one hey honey now that you're down here uh, do you want to check out the refrigerator sure <laughs> You good? Check so it out. Now we just have seltzers in here and... <laughs> wow, look at that, you stacked the apples. Yep, you see? You nice, gonna do huh? this every time? This is gonna go bad pretty soon. This one already went bad. <laughs> December. <laughs> Whoops! All right, now this is my pride and joy. Check it out. Wait, but pull the top one first. We're having salmon tonight, right? Yes. So what are we gonna do when we have an actual full amount of nuggets? Well, we'll fit it in there. It's going to be like a body get... bag on top. <laughs> I have all of the meats on one side and the, you know, prepared foods on the other. Thank you for taking out the dinner for tonight. Yeah, somebody's got to put food on the table. <laughs>